So what we're doing right now is we're just measuring the measurements for your school bus. So the total length would be five and a fourth inch. You just mark that, draw a line. Your height has to be two and a quarter inch. So you just mark that. Then we want to find where we're going to have to, it's like this little square. So what you're going to have to do is go an inch across from your five and one fourths. Mark that. Then what you want to do is go down one and one eighth of an inch. Make sure you mark that. Then connect them together. Second, what you want to do is maybe just go half halfway up, just mark, and then do that for right here too. Once that is done, then you want to go three fourths of an inch over. And then what you want to do, because this is for your windows for your bus, then you want to go an inch every time until there's like no room left. So you got one, two, three, four windows. And then what you're going to use is a 11 16 spade bit or less for the. Um, to drill the axle holes, you just go half an inch above pretty much anywhere you want. So right now, we're at the vertical bandsaw and we're going to cut the length of the school bus which is 5 and 1 fourth inch. And uh, so this is the intersection with the 1 and 1 eighth and the 1 inch. And basically this will give you your hood and your windshield basis. And when using the bandsaw, carefully examine that the blade is about 1 16th to 1 eighth inch above the stock before cutting. It may be best to use a miter gauge along with push stick in order to maintain equilibrium between the stock and the blade. And let the blade reach the full speed when you're starting to cut. And allow the blade to completely stop after, your, after you cut your stock. At this point, you want to cut the intersection of the one inch and the one and one eighth inch. Okay. So you're just basically cutting a small square portion size. It doesn't have to be our best work. Yeah, I know. It's cool. Okay. Okay. So we cutting? We're cutting right there, you know. You know this little square. Right square. Here? Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Ready? Good. Make sure it's a full speed before you make a cut. Just stop it. Now you want to do the other the other side and just do the same procedure once you get to your point just stop the vertical bandsaw turn it off that looks about right go ahead oh it's on the inside so yeah. like the space metal yeah hit the line so right. okay so So basically, for the for drilling the holes, which would be the windows, you'd need between a 9/16 to 11/16, depending on 
the size that you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just depending on the individual. And the axle holes will be drilled with a 930 seconds drill bit. Um, when cutting your windows, uh, make sure the little bit of the suede bit just sticks out at, at the bottom just a little bit. So you don't uh, cause blowout when you're cutting and then you turn it over and then you cut there. So. That's way slow. Just you go, make it to stick just out. Just go in slowly. Bit. Yeah. Go in slowly. It should not go all the way through. And make sure your gauge is set so that the spade bit just uh, appears below the stock just barely. And just keep going in slowly so you don't cause blowout at the end. It's gotten so tight now that I got it up to here that even with bringing this thing all the way in, all right, that's fine. That's a sucker moving through. So now you you turn the stock over, and since you have a little hole, you're just gonna finish off the drill. For now, you're just gonna wanna drill the axle holes with a 930 seconds drill bit. And you can basically just drill them anywhere from a half an inch, anywhere from the five fourths inch. Go ahead. You can do it. Uh, I did the last one. You can do it. Is it lined up? I think so. Just go slow. Yeah, that's good. All right. Just go slowly. Take your time, just so you don't cause blowout at the end. Just until you reach the end of your gauge. Now I have to pull it back up. Because I'm right, right here. What? Now I have to pull it back up and just go down. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, I think it's just end going back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Yep, there we go. Looks pretty good. So just repeat that for another one. And do the same thing from the windows for each window. Do it back and forth. Do it. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to sand the rough edges out with 120 grit sandpaper. If you want, you can sand inside. It's recommended. Alright, so what we want to do is stick the dowel and then put one wheel on here and then make sure and then, can I see that other wheel? Then grab another wheel 
Jared! Garcia's car! Other way. Hold open the door. There's not a order, so. Well, and then we want, and then we mark it so it will still be able to roll. So right there, and then you cut it with the miter saw and do the same thing to the back. So here's the bus finished with the stain. After you're sanding, you got a stain. So what you have to do is. Make sure it doesn't touch any newspaper, but use wood to hold it above it. So what you gotta do, you gotta have vegetable oil, that's what we're using, and then fold this. And then what you wanna do is just place a little bit on here. And then what you wanna do is just rub it all over the bus just so, just to get one coat, two coats, and then for these sides, just dab, and then that's pretty much all you're staining.